This is the 22 long rifle. Right. That's what you started with. Then you went to the 9mm, which you found was kind of powerful, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's the 9mm. That's the standard military law enforcement. Everybody right. uses this. It's the most used caliber. So then you went to the 44. Well, well you had the 45 out. in between, but this is the 44, right. which is quite powerful, right? That was crazy. This is what you're going to shoot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's a rocket. <laughs> it's, it's a, a vibrator, <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, that's good. Well, that's perfect. Right, right out was fine because okay. it's, it's got the mobility. Target. This one didn't. Straighten your arms out as much as you can. All right, that's good. Okay, when you're ready, you can pull the hammer back and you can shoot. Go ahead. Holy shit! <laughs> oh. Oh. I think wow. I peed a little bit. <laughs> I know I did. Okay, producer. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Adventures with Grant. Today, I've got with me the infamous, <laughs> the legendary <laughs> Adam McDonald. And uh, I'm a bit scared today, Adam, to be honest with you. Yeah, me too, mate. I'll tell you why. why, it's not because we're shooting guns. Oh, okay. It's because you're the pro here, mate. You're yeah. the one who's been on TV. You're the one who's done stuff. You've been in front of a camera. This right. is new to me. Right. You're yeah. the one who's probably best at interviewing and stuff like that. But, yeah, okay. Um, well, I don't know about that, but uh, thanks, Grant. That's <laughs> lovely. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for having me on your show, which I'm sure I'll probably, you know, hijack very soon. It should only take I, about 30 seconds, I reckon. Exactly, yeah, and that, that's kind of what I'm looking for, Matt. So why don't you come with me, Grant? We're going uh, to head on in here to the, uh, to the shooting range. Uh, yeah. So tell me about your podcast, Grant. What's, what's going on there? <laughs> well, mate, this is what it is. It's two blokes shooting the shit, and we have a laugh, and um, he takes one take, and that's it, and we see how it goes. Perfect. Perfect. So it's, um, it's really nice to have you on, and, and today, you know, we've known each other for a few years now. It's, right. it's been always been about bartending. It's been about the bar industry, booze, things like that. Sure. Um, but today, I'd like to dig into a few things that are maybe not related or some side projects or things that you've done maybe uh, that have interested you um, oh, away mate, from. Are we getting married or? Yeah, let's what's do the it. story here? Well, we can, mate. I'm, there's I'm a wedding, there's a wedding center attached to a shooting range. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I don't understand. I now pronounce you. <laughs> Husband and wife happens there. M16s happen here. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, today, Maka, we're going, uh, I want to dig a bit, you know, into uh, the things we don't know about you. The yeah, things right. You've said a bit on, on TED Talks, you've, you know, you've introduced uh, some other things, but sure. we're going to go into that. Yeah, great. Yeah. Well, this is one of them. I mean, this is there one. There you go. Who exactly. would have thought, right? Yeah, I did. I, did. I had no idea you had an interest in guns or... Yeah. Things like that. So, um, well, yeah. I, you know, it's not so much an interest in like, a, don't, don't, any, not a gunhead at all. No. What I like about it is that I'm not good at it. Right. I'm not good at this at all. And I like the idea that it's a skill that you can get good at. Yep. Um, and I like the fact that it's kind of scary. Mm. You, you got to concentrate. You got to. This is this stuff's for real. Yeah. And it's like there's no. You, you can't fuck around with it. You got to be. You got to be on point. Mm. And I like being around people that are like that. Yeah. in a disciplined environment because yeah. you're like we're on there's a safety there absolutely yeah and if you can if you can sort of find the the joy in understanding how that all operates then this is an interesting thing to do my so, first um, my first handgun shooting experience was in nevada right and uh great guy tom taught me and i was there with a with a marine actually learning how to shoot and one thing, as, as you're walking down the range, you know, like you, the, the, the look that people give you in their eyes, especially in America, mm. it's like, we're good here. Like, this is good. Like, yeah, you, yeah. There's no problem with you, with me. Like, there's that, like, understanding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Are we on and, the same page? Correct. And yeah. I was saying to Tom, I was like, how, you know, you have a lot of gun violence in this country, but how much of it actually happens in shooting ranges? Mm. And he's like, I don't know, the stats, whatever, but it's like nothing yeah. because they know that if you do yeah. something, you're going to get dropped yeah. immediately, right? Um, and I think that part of the part of the, the sentiment gets pulled on into like, well, then let's just arm everybody at schools because yeah. that would be fine too. And like, yeah. they, they don't see the difference in like There's the, a very big step between control gunmanship as opposed to totally you know everyone totally, can have a gun totally <laughs> totally, totally. Yeah. 
No, it's it's very interesting. Very interesting. So I'm quite looking forward today. We do we do have a third person. I'm not going to leave him to the side. You know, he do, he's not going to talk or anything. But we do have another mate here as well. And um, you know, between the three of us, we're all pretty competitive. So I'm sure it's going to be quite a fun. Yeah, and yeah, no, no. But this guy's a snake in the grass. Exactly. He's you know, the quiet one. You go you go ten pin bowling with him or whatever, and he forgets to tell you. He's, he's a like pro. Swedish champ. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. So it's a, it's going to be a, a very exciting couple of rounds, I imagine. Yeah. All right, guys. So we start out with the 22s. It's really small, really easy to shoot. We start out with that to warm up a little bit. OK. Shooters are ready. Five shots. Hopefully I've got five. <laughs> oh, that's five. <laughs> oh, we like this though. There we go. Nice. So we have to stick. Where'd you go? I've got a, an eight, two, nine, six, and a three. What I want you to do is when you when you got your sights on the target, right? I want you to touch that trigger and I want you to feel it. And you can feel it goes to from soft to hard, right? There's a little wall there. And I want you to let your sights just roll on the, on the target. Never mind, don't think that you're going to shoot when you're in the center of the black, right? Don't decide when you're going to Just leave them there fl floating. And then you push the wall on the trigger and just squeeze. You just increase on that, right? So you come to the hard wall and from there you're just increasing the pressure and then suddenly it will go up. You're not supposed to know exactly when it goes up. So don't, don't think like I'm going to shoot because I'm in the middle. Don't, don't do that. You'll miss. Just leave it floating there and just squeeze until it's so Yeah, so um, basically we'll give a quick little rundown. Um, it's really interesting shooting these guns, but um, you can't see really what's happening, so you don't know where your mistakes are. Right. So, um, do you want to just run through what you, what's happening with you a little bit? Yeah, go ahead. Uh... Jesus Christ! Losing up all the way. Yeah. Mate, I can feel this through my. There's an adrenaline kick yeah. here, and uh, definitely need to take a few deep up. breaths. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, this is an adventure. All right, let's get the targets back. I will. I'll be honest, as I'm genuinely scared before that's, pulling that trigger. That's real, like dirty Harry shit, right? Yep. The, that that 44 Magnum, yep. right? That is that is a ridiculous gun. Mate, that's that, a fucking hand cannon. That is like. Honestly, the, 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 there is a genuine fear now of wanting to pull that trigger. I hear you, man. And also what it's going to do to my body. Like the, the pushback, it's really intense. Now this is the big gun. And I'll go get the ammunition so you can see it. <laughs> you just get one shot with this, right? A two. Two shots? No. Jesus. Oh, someone might have to catch me. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm only a little fella. I can feel myself going, yeah. <laughs> getting thrown I think, off I think with center. this one, we should watch each other shoot this thing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah we only Sorry. got one gun. So All right. Oh, okay. right. So let's right. do two stacks first this time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Chuck the sweet well, on Jack it. the only one who has been patching his target. Exactly. So. He's killing it. This also <laughs> locks the wrists up a little bit. Yeah. And then your gun can go off like this. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. When you're ready, you've got to run with the cock yet. Yeah. All right. When you're ready, I just... Uh, Lean forward a little bit, straighten out your arms. Yeah. Alright, when you're ready, you got two shots. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my god, I'm next. <laughs> <Fuck. laughs> you can show us how it's done. One hand, look at this. Serious motherfucker. Jeez. Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> I wasn't faking that, by the way. <laughs> That's frightening. Oh. How do we go? <clears throat> Alright, get your oh. jackets on. Let's go back on Thanks. Wow. It, it's what I think the, the the interesting part is when you go down into the into the range, and you've got that. This, you, we started with the 22, and then you feel that 22 go off, and you and you like, like you said, it's like, oh, that's not too bad. Like that's actually that's actually like, huh, that's yeah. um, not far Comfy. off what I yeah, not far off what I think a gun should probably feel exactly. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, all right, cool. But then 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 you make that step up to the nine mil. And then, as you said, it's going to go boom. Yeah. And you're like, then shit gets real. Shit, that that what that yeah. went boom, and we're not even in there yet. Well, there's but once one... you get to that magnum oh. range. <clears throat> Insane. Now, I know we've got to pay and we've got to do all that stuff, but there's there's one thing that will stick in my mind from today was the fact that you had one shot, and then you said my legs are shaking. Yeah. Now you work here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever do that. I don't shoot that gun. Right. Uh, and uh, definitely not one-handed. Right. So just to show up. No, of course, of course, of course. Yeah. And, uh, but 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 that's but that's that's to put in perspective. Like here's three newbies, right? Yeah. First time shooting a big gun like that, and then the guy who works here who shows people how to do this. When his legs are shaking. He's also. You know, that they, that put really puts in perspective. It doesn't matter how often you're hanging on. I'm not that often on camera though. You gotta remember that. That's what it was. Of course, it was a, so, yeah, yeah, it wasn't the gun. <laughs> Thank you all very much for tuning in, and uh, this was Maka. Won't say too much about two stacks. He was the best shot, but anyway, let's not get that on camera. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you again. Cheers, mate. All right, and we're done. <laughs>